all the music in here is uh, playing back as we're doing it so that uh, everybody is uh, staying in sync with it. It's something that we did all the way through the movie, though uh, it actually turned out to be a near tragic experience uh, because even though we had gone to such trouble, we didn't have a, a technical thing on the soundtrack known as a sync pulse, and uh, that would keep it... Uh, always in sync with the film and uh, this didn't happen somebody had neglected to put the sync pulse on so the music would always drift out of sync with the film so that the dancers looked like they were offbeat and uh, didn't know what they were doing but uh, it took us the longest time uh, we almost had to release the movie in Monoral before we figured out how to solve it and get it back into sync so it would work naturally This is a kind of line dance that uh, was done at the time. And uh, the late Gene Siskel said this was one of his favorite uh, moments in movie history, the kind of coming together of all of these kids and, uh, and how they, they were kind of unified in this kind of strange make-believe world. Meanwhile, I'm getting yelled at by the writer because we have smoke in the disco and smoke coming out. He said there's no disco in the world that has smoke. And from my theater background, I always knew that dry ice was really cool and would be fun here. And I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if we could slowly flood the entire club with uh, dry ice, and by the end of it, we would bury the dancers in the dry ice uh, that would have built up to such a high degree. So we were, we were doing this as I'm assuring uh, Norman Wexler that maybe after this movie comes out, uh, people will use smoke in discos. I think that tended to happen. Mm -hmm. 